Welcome. Today, we're going to be discussing parallel lines. So how do we define parallel lines? Well, parallel lines are lines that do not intersect with each other. Now, based on this definition, now let's think about what characteristics should these lines have. So I'm going to choose two random points at negative four, comma one, and at two, comma six. Now let's create our line. So how can we create another line that does not intersect the line that we have created? But now let's choose another random point. I'm going to choose negative one comma negative five. And for both lines to not intersect, they need to have the same direction. So let's go back to the initial line that we have created. Let's call it line one. And let's identify its direction. Let's start by looking at its vertical distance. If the bottom point has a y value of one and the upper point has a y value of six, that would mean that we travel five units up. If the bottom point has an x value of negative four and the right point has an x value of two, that means that we travel six units to the right. So now let's give the same directions to the line that we want to create. So if we start at negative five and we move five units up, we're going to go to the y value of zero. And then if we move six units to the right, we're going to end up at the x value of five. And notice that we have a new coordinate point here, which is five comma zero. Now let's connect those points. Now, by design, these two lines will never intersect because they have the same direction. But look at how we define this direction. We look at the vertical distance. We assign both of them to have the same vertical distance. And then we look at its horizontal distance. And then we assign both of them to have the same horizontal distance. So if these two lines have the same vertical distance and the same horizontal distance, then by definition, both lines have the same slope. And this is how we can identify parallel lines, because parallel lines will always have the same slope. Welcome. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.